You'll have seen before the classic scissor handle design. It's straight, it's even length, but it's not designed for people. You'll have also seen something that we sell, which is the offset handle. You'll see that one of the finger rings is shorter in length than the other. I'll show you how that works when I put the two together. You'll see that the straight scissor is at 12 o'clock and the offset scissor is at one o'clock, which means that when you're working, uh, if you're point cutting, for instance, your elbow and your wrist are very, very high, which is quite uncomfortable and not a good posture. Whereas with the offset, it's much lower. When you're cutting against the skin, the straight handle is quite obstructed when it's against the skin and you'll see stylists lifting the scissor off as they cut around the skin. Whereas with the offset handle here, there is little or no obstruction when cutting against the skin. Now, if you want to take that to its most effective, you'll see the rotating thumb, or what we call the Revo, revolving thumb scissor. But if I put it against a straight handle scissor like this, you'll see instantly that the straight handle scissor is open where this is closed, because the gap between your finger and thumb is larger, which is less pressure on the carpal tunnel nerve. Secondly, you'll see the angle, which you know makes the elbow lower. But thirdly, and most importantly, when you're working on any haircut, cutting over the knuckles, it allows you to drop your elbow like this into a much more relaxed, comfortable position, which is gonna save a lot of aches and pains. At scissor hands, we recommend a long blade, a short blade, a thinning scissor, and a layering texturizer. Now with those four key tools of the trade, you can take on any haircut in the most efficient way. We'll start with the short blade. Lots of hairdressers will start their career with this, but lots will finish it with a short blade, not understanding the difference between blade length. If you're gonna use a short blade, remember it's designed to be used originally for cutting hair inside the fingers in the palm of the hand and for cutting against the skin with very small, precise sections. That's okay if you do that kind of work. But if you use techniques where you create textured haircuts or you cut over the knuckles, the longer blade means that you can cut the hair much more e easily over the knuckles. And if you point cut, the blade's long enough to go into the sections. I see lots of hairdressers using a short blade to cut over the knuckles. The problem is, if you do this, the blade's not as stable and you'll often see them go one, two, three and cut the skin. Or if they point cut, they'll move the scissor hand like this and actually cut off too much hair on the way in. So remember, if you do cut over the knuckles, a longer blade's gonna give you a cleaner line much more safely. And if you point cut, much softer haircut without having to move your scissor hand. There are really only two types of scissor blade. The ones made in Europe, which are often made in Germany, they are flat, the blades are straight, they have a beveled, almost like a chiseled edge, and they often have serrations. These cut like a guillotine. When the hair hits the blade, can't move, off it comes. They don't slice cut, they only cut still. We don't sell them. We sell the convex blade. Convex blade's very different. This has uh, got a curve on the blade. It's hollow ground. Uh, it's made from two pieces of metal. And instead of the European scissors, which are made in one day, this takes up to two weeks to make. The difference is, with this, you can slice cut as well as cut crisp straight lines. That's the only type of blade that we sell. We recommend that every stylist use a 32 thinning scissor. How many times does a hairdresser need to remove weight from the hair without seeing any cut marks? How many times do they need to blend two sections together? This is designed to give a perfect flawless result when you're blending together or some of my clients describe it as evaporating the hair away with no marks. Another important piece of equipment, the 15 tooth layering texturizer. 
two main jobs. One is to create soft layers and the other is to create texture. The question is, how many times do you do a haircut that you want to create a soft texture? Most of our clients, before they use this, will use a solid blade scissor, do the whole haircut, blow dry it, and then go over and point cut with a solid blade. So that's two haircuts on one client. By using the 15 tooth, you can get that result in one go. It can be done over your fingers, over your knuckles, or scissor over comb. But that is probably the most groundbreaking product that we do at Scissor Hands. Now with those four key tools of the trade, you can take on any haircut in the most efficient way.